Hi everyone, it's Margaret Manning here with 60 and Me. 60 and Me is a community of women who are aging beautifully and who love to experiment with makeup, new products and techniques. And I'm always on the lookout for new product lines that um, are appropriate for an aging face. And uh, I've tried this line uh, now that was sent to me from the States and I'm super excited to share it with you. Now, I wasn't able to buy it in Europe. It's a product called line called Believe and it's sold at Dollar General, which is a dollar store in the United States. And this is happening quite a bit now. Now, really great products are coming out of the, um, the, the dollar uh, shops and, and the drug stores. But this line in particular intrigued me. So I asked a friend uh, in the States if they could send it to me or send some products to me. And I've got just about enough to do a whole face. I've got to substitute a couple of things that I didn't get. But I am honestly really impressed with this line. And for those of you who live in the United States and have a Dollar General nearby, I hope that you're going to enjoy this um, tutorial because I, I love some of the products very much. I think they're a really good product, uh, good value for money. So let's start. Um, I've got nothing on my face at the moment. <laughs> and I want to just, uh, first of all, share that I put a facial oil on first as a base. I've already done that. It's Growing Younger Gracefully. Uh, it's a product I've used for years and I love it. And it's perfect for me as a primer and just gets the skin kind of moisturized and ready for foundation. So I'm not going to put a primer on. They do a couple of product uh, products. Uh, there are primers in this in this uh, Believe line, but I'm going to go straight to the foundation and apply it. And honestly, um, the packaging is great. It's it looks like this. It's called um, it's actually called Skin Finish Foundation. Claims to be a medium to full coverage. I would say it's pretty close to full coverage for me. Now I've got, as you can probably notice, I've got age spots. I've got wrinkles and uh, we're going to see how this foundation is going to hold up. I've tried it, of course, before trying for you and I'm I'm impressed, but we'll see what you think. So it's it's got a really nice feel to it and um, it's not a heavily matte. It sort of has a shiny finish to it. So I'm going to use uh, my brush, my foundation brush. I did try with my fingers and I found it was better with a brush or a sponge. So that's how I would um, suggest that you use it. I'm gonna put some of my couple of squirts on my hand here and just have a go. And I think you'll be surprised by the, the coverage that you get. So I'm just gonna show you real quickly if you can see the, um, you know, the age spots on my skin and uh, see what this foundation does. Okay, so I'm gonna dab it on and it's, now it goes on really, really smoothly. I'm not going to take too much of a fuss here of uh, rubbing it in. It will go in and calm down a little bit as the color settles. And as you can see, look, it's a beautiful finish. It's a little bit glowy and shiny, which I love, and it's not matte. And so far it's not drying on my skin at all. So I'm gonna put it on my eyes, nose, and I'll do the other side as well. You need a couple of squares. I do one on each side. I'm putting it on, you know, fairly heavily. I mean, I, I do like coverage that is, um, you know, that is real, uh, but it doesn't feel like it's covering up my skin. It feels very natural and um, comfortable. So I'm just pressing and swirling. <laughs> okay, so you can see what that's done to my skin. I like it. I really do like this finish. It reminds me a lot of a couple of uh, foundations that I have used that I paid a lot more for. And this is an incredible um, product, in my opinion, for the price. So I'll put some on my forehead, over my eyebrows. I'm doing this in my phone, so hopefully I'm gonna be able to not uh, smudge it too much and have it blend in okay. And um, this brush, by the way, it's just, it's a radiant, um, uh, makeup um, foundation brush but you can get one just a flat top it needs to be able to be kind of pushed in gently and just pressed in okay i think that's probably enough blending i've missed i'm sure i've missed something i'll take a look in my mirror <laughs> have a look okay it feels really good it's a great foundation okay let's see if i can have a quick look to make sure i didn't miss something okay I need a bigger mirror to reach over and get my mirror okay all right, that's the foundation. We'll we'll touch it up as we go here a bit if we need to when I start doing the eye makeup. But um, so far, I like it. Of all the products, by the way, I can say up front that all the products I've tried in this line, 
I like the foundation the best. It's really, really good. So that's how it looks just to, to get started. Now, they, I didn't get an eyebrow um, product, but I've seen other people uh, uh, trying out their, their eyebrow uh, pencil, and it looks a little bit waxy to me, and everybody seems to make that comment, but try it yourself and see whether you like it. I use um, this one, which is a Maybelline product, and uh, it's um, called Ta Brow Tattoo, upside down. It's called Brow, Tattoo Brow. And for me, I've got hardly any eyebrows, really. The shapes are funky. It's, they're different sizes. They're one's up higher than the other. But this tends to work best for me. It gives me um, uh, some color and uh, texture. It's got sort of fiber in it, and I like it. So I'll just do my eyebrows kind of quickly here. I've learned to love my faults and my imperfections. <laughs> I think as you get a bit older, that's the best way to to manage the uh, the transitions that you have to go through. Uh, your eyebrows do change, and it's just how it is. But um, okay, so I think that's okay for eyebrows. Now their eye products, um, they did some beautiful palettes, uh, which I'll, I've, I would have one of them. I'll just finish my eyebrow here, okay? Um, and uh, the one that was sent to me is neutral. It's called uh, Nude or Neutral, and it is actually a very neutral color uh, palette, but the uh, pigment is, is amazing. So this is what I'm gonna be using. And I've already tried out a few combinations, and I've discovered that this particular one right here is a little too dark for me. So I'm going to start with this lighter brown on the um, crease of my eyelid, and then and then play with these two uh, bottom ones um, to to blend. And you can really um, see the the how you can build on top of each other. So this is a great palette to get started with if you need just one to to have a go with. Now my uh, I'll start with the crease with the. Uh, this mid-sized, mid-color brown. And I'm going to try a very small, pip. I've learned from experience, you don't need very much with this particular uh, shadow. So that's going to be just on the uh, crease and blend in as best you can. We'll go back and finish it in a second, but just to get started. And of course, I've got, my eyes are a little bit hooded. I've got, you know, they're, they're not, your perfect eyes anymore, but um, I think that having a little darker color on the crease is a good idea. It just gives you that much sort of definition that you can then work with the um, with the shadow. I'll just double check to make sure I've covered it in the right places. Yeah, I didn't want to go too, too crazy, but I will just touch up this side a little teeny bit. Okay, so that's the crease. Now I'm going to try one of the, um, the other colors got this brush a bit. Uh, this one here, which is kind of a, it's kind of a, it looks coppery, very pretty color, almost gold, um, coppery, brownish. <laughs> so I'll just put that on the uh, eye eyelid. Can you see that color coming? It's very pretty. And still a little bit dark for me, but I'm going to tone it down in a second with, with another one of these colors. But I do like this color. I think it's very beautiful. And uh, the, and honestly, for the again for the price, it it goes on really well. It blends beautifully, and I think it's uh, it's a good base. And what I'm going to do now, though, is put the lighter color. This um, uh, it's a creamy, just a, almost a shade or two lighter, but it's got a similar quality to it. And put that on top, and maybe not all the way, just in the um, the center section of my eye, right like right there. You can see what that's doing to the color. It's really making it pop. And I found that was a nice combination. I'll do it on the other side as well. Okay. Right, so so that is, I, I kind of like that, that uh, effect of having the kind of very light color on top of the other one. And I'm going to now, on top of that, use um, another product which came um, with the eye, um, eye line. And it's called... Uh, it's called Believe, I think it's called something like, hmm, I have to get the name of it because it's a gloss, it's creamy pot gel, glimmer pot gel, and it's a kind of a mousse texture. Uh, this is pink quartz, which is beautiful, and there's a gold, a silver, I believe, but they're really an interesting texture. When you first put them, it feels like, you know, it's very soft and you're not sure you're going to get any color from it. And it does have a glimmer to it. But if you put it on top of this, um, the color I just placed on my eye, it gives an interesting effect. I want to make sure I have enough there because it's quite, 
quite unique. When you put it on, it's got kind of a coolness to it. Isn't that pretty? I think that's a really nice combination, just those, the darker color with the, with the lighter highlight, and then this on top. And don't smudge it so much as press it. That's what I found was the best technique because it's, um, it does tend to dry a little bit. I wanna check and see how those colors have blended in together. Just one sec. Okay. Um, yeah, that, that is the effect that I was trying to get. So I think that's a nice look uh, for, for daytime. You could use the darker shades in the evening and make it really pop. But I think that's a pretty um, uh, you know, balanced look for the daytime. So I'm happy with those eyeshadows. I actually do like these. I, I think I'm going to experiment more. I, that's one of the other highlights in this set that I received. I do like that a little bit. Not, not as much as some of the colors. They're too um, uh, glittery for me, but I think this combination is perfect. And I'm really happy with this uh, pot. Of a glimmer pot. I like that. So that's the eyes. Now I'm going, there was an eyeliner pencil too, but it wasn't quite the right shade for me, but I don't often wear eye, eyeliner. So I'm going to leave it like that. Mascara. I'm going, I'll pop the eyes on all together. I'll do the eyes next. The eye, um, the mascara was one called, uh, what was it called? Like false eyelash, something like that. It was, um, there's a series of them. It's a purple uh, um, container and it's got a very small brush and I've tried this a couple of times and tried to get it so it doesn't smudge and um, uh, you know separate, but I'm afraid this one for me, um, I'm not sure, but I'll, I'll try it this time with a bit less on the, on the brush and we'll see what happens. Okay, um, I, do, you know, I do like the size of the brush. I mean, it's okay. I think it's just the, the texture of the um, mascara. Again, I mean, as I said before, these are all products that are, are under $5. So you have to kind of, you know, keep that in perspective. But it shouldn't be the determination of quality. I mean, it is it is a good quality um, or they wouldn't be selling it. So, I mean, it's, it's actually a nice, um, a nice product. I think there's some with a larger brush, which might be a little bit better for me. But I'm going to try to get these even and still be able to see that beautiful eyeshadow behind Okay, I think that's probably enough for eyes. I like it. It's okay. It's, I think it's turned out all right. Um, just touch this one a bit. Actually, this time it, it turned out a little better in terms of the um, clumping. It didn't clump. <laughs> so I think maybe I had too much on the brush before. Okay, so that's good. So that's the mascara. Now, I want to go on to the blush because I love this blush. Again, there's several different options that you can get. And I'm going to uh, just show you the one that was sent to me, which is pink. It's called, um, I think it's just called pink pink glow and i did get an, uh, there was another one that was sent but it got damaged in shipping and it was um a peachy color but it turned out to be very peachy almost too orangey peachy so i decided even with the little teeny bit that's still left in the box after uh, being damaged it would be I better to leave it so uh this blush is called pink glow and what's really cool about this pink glow is that when you put it on you get a pop of color for sure that's kind of its stated intention on the back but you also get a sense of a highlight. And I'll show you how that works. Um, it's got a nice golden pink color, so it goes really well with the, um, with the uh, eyeshadow. So I'm, I'm gonna use, oops, wrong brush. Where's my, oh, this will work, this is okay. So there, you can see, I'm just gonna pop it on and pull it up a bit. But can you see already, there's a little bit of a glow along the top. I think it's a really nice uh, blush. And it's just, it's not so much color that it seems extreme, kind of painted lady color, but it's got a, 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 um, a, you know, a sweetness to it. It's very, very nice. I like pink blush. I think it's pretty. Pinky peach is good, but that's the blush. Isn't that pretty? Um, I think that's a, oh, it's a little bit more on this side. But I love how it's got that sort of glowy um, look to it. So you can get the combination of a highlighter and a blush at the same time. So that's a good, that was for me another big plus. I really like that one. Now there is a, a powder that uh, Believe does, which is a transparent powder. And um, some people put it on before they put their blush on. I just put the transparent powder on my face at the end, like now when we're sealing everything. I did not put any concealer on. Um, if I was going to use concealer, I would have used my Maybelline um, Age Eraser, but I'm just going to leave it um, because I have wrinkles and they're not going to go away. And I've really found no matter what I put under my eyes, they tend it tends to, uh, you know, crease, smile lines. 
<laughs> I'd rather have had the smiles than, than the wrinkles. I don't mind the wrinkles. So it's all good. But this powder, if you can see, is a transparent powder. I'm going to try to not put too much on my brush. But I found that just by putting that over top of, of, the, pow of the foundation and the blush, you just get a nice, even um, glow. And a little under my eyes, it's okay. And there we go. Just kind of you know, touch up everything. Oh, I forgot I forgot one thing I need to go back to do. But that's how the powder makes it look. And I think that just evens it all out. Really like this foundation, by the way. It stays on, by the way, for hours. I've left it on for 10 hours and it's, the blush fades a little bit, but the, but the foundation is fantastic. I forgot to do one thing with my eyes, which is important, which is right under the eyebrow. I'm going to put some of the, the, the white creamy color here. So if I can just get my just under my eyebrows. And that kind of pulls it all together, I think. There we go. Okay, that's better. I'm glad I remembered that. Okay, finally, finally, lipstick. Now, again, I got one lipstick to try and one uh, lip liner. The lip liner uh, was, uh, what was the color on this? I'm looking to see. It was, hmm, I don't know. Oh, it's a smoky pink, I think. But it's very light super light and uh, when I put it on my lips I could hardly even see it but um, it was creamy it went on and it served its purpose in that it gave me a line to, to prevent my lipstick from running so I'll put this on and you can see how light it is but it, it does actually have a, a purpose and I will uh -huh. So it's definitely not the kind of lip liner that's going to, you know, outline your lips. It's definitely just got a kind of a sealing effect, which I think is fine. The lipstick. Now, the lipstick for me um, was a little light. It's actually, I don't even know the name of it because it's not on the bottom of the lipstick, but it's a brownie beige um, kind of orangey color. And it looks, it's a beautiful color and I like it. For me, it's a little light, but I'm going to put it on so you can see what it might look like on your mouth. And then I'm going to add one of my favorite lipsticks just to give it some more color for me. But I wanted to show you this because what I liked about it, I think they're called bullet um, uh, lipsticks because they're quite, they're not a lot. Those are quite short, but they are a great price. <laughs> and I'll put this on. And you can see how pretty it is. Isn't that nice? I mean, it is a nice color. And I think for um, a younger face, perhaps that hasn't had that challenge of the skin kind of fading a little bit and losing some of your color in your face, it will look great. It's a really cool color. And the texture, I actually love wearing this. I've worn this lipstick several times and just popped a bit of color on it on top because underneath it, it feels really creamy. It's a uh, kind of a silky matte. It's not drying at all. So I would say that was a good um, a good purchase as well. And I would like some more of those colors. So I'm gonna have to call my friend and ask her to bring me or to send me a few more of the colors. I saw somebody do um, one what's called, just called rosy pink and it was the most beautiful color. So they're lipsticks I like as well. So I'm going to though, as I promised, if I can find it, where did I put my lipstick? Ah. I'm hiding it. This is um, one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. It's Estee Lauder's um, Frosted Apricot. And I would tend to, with this light a color lipstick, put something a little brighter on top. So actually I might even put one darker. I've got one here, which is very similar. I'll put the name of it down below, but this is a darker one. Okay. There. Isn't that cute? This is Radiant, and I will get the name of it for you. I have two favorites, Radiant and Estee Lauder, both of them I love. But that's the lipstick with a bit of color added to it. So I think it's great. I really am so happy that I had this opportunity to check out the Believe um, line and uh, share the foundation with you particularly. I loved the uh, blush. I thought was really pretty, uh, understated, but I think worked really well. Um, I love the lipstick. And I'm actually warming to the eye products as well now that I've tried them a second time and uh, the mascara I think is okay. 
So, you know, all in all, the only one I really, I think I didn't want to, uh, I didn't have was the eyebrow pencil, which may have worked for me, and the eyeliner I might have, or the lip liner, I might have chosen a darker color. But um, honestly, in terms of the product quality, I'm truly impressed. It's a, it's a luxury line in a, in a drugstore brand, and uh, I'm just so happy for the women who live in the United States who are watching this, that you can go out the door right now and go get some of this at the, um, at the store. I won't put all the uh, codes down because I, I can't order them from here, but you, you, I'll write all the product names down so that you'll know what you're looking for. You won't be lost uh, sport for choice. So. so thank you again for watching. I hope this has been interesting for you. I love doing these kinds of product reviews where there's products that are a little bit you know, mysterious, like you don't know how they're going to turn out and be very happy to, to recommend them based on my own experience with my aging skin and, uh, and you know, th these products which are super affordable. So thanks again for being here, everybody. I uh, appreciate you being here on my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't and uh, ring the bell or press the bell so that you'll know when there are further uh, videos that are released. Take good care, everybody. We'll talk again soon. Bye-bye for now.